Hi everyone, let's plant some strawberries today and I will tell you everything about growing strawberries at home, in containers as well in ground, plus a bonus tip to get more strawberries in a season. The quickest and easiest way to start strawberries is by planting bare roots. You will find them in all big box stores in late winter and early spring. So obviously spring is a good time to plant these, but if you have strawberry plants from runners, you can plant them in fall as well. In fact, the bare root plants packet usually comes with this map of USA which gives an idea of best time to plant these in your state. But which one of these strawberry varieties should you plant? We will discuss it during this video, but first let's plant some of these. Before planting these bare roots, let them sit in water for an hour or two. While they soak, I will prepare the soil to plant strawberries. Strawberries do fairly well in containers. I would mix one part compost and one part sand. Strawberries like slightly acidic soil. So I will add a fistful of soil acidifier. I will link this one in description. You can also add one part manure. This soil mix can be used in containers as well as on top of raised beds. I have full video dedicated to soil preparation. I will link it at the end. We are ready to plant these. Choose a location that gets at least 6 hours of sun. Strawberries will produce in less sun as well, but it will make lesser berries and will take longer to ripen. I will dig a hole nearly 6 inches deep and then I will make a mound in the middle. This mound has a purpose and I'll explain what it is. Now we will pick the bare root and spread the roots in all direction as evenly as possible. The center is called the crown and while planting we want to make sure it is not planted too deep or too shallow. And this is where the mound comes into use. We will make the crown sit on the mound and spread the roots all around then fill up the hole. Ideally you want to plant these 12 inches away from each other but for small space 6 to 8 inches would do to begin with. For 3 gallon containers, I would plant 2 to 3 plants in each. We will follow the same process for planting these bare roots in ground. Once planting is done, water them well and water them often over next few weeks. When they start showing good leaf growth, it means the plant has accepted its new home. So when should you expect the strawberries? It depends upon the varieties you pick and the amount of space you have. Let me explain the relation between the two. The most common varieties available in big box stores are June bearing and ever bearing. As suggested by their name, June bearing varieties grow a big flush of berries in June and then don't produce for rest of the year. So these are perfect if you need lots of strawberries at the same time to make jam or anything else. The ever bearing variety will have two flushes of berries in any year. First one in June and second one in fall. There are day neutral varieties as well which are expected to produce fruit all year long. If you have limited space, plant ever bearing variety or day neutral variety, both of which will possibly give at least two flushes of berries. If you have a large space and want to establish a patch of strawberries, I would suggest to plant both varieties, the June bearing as well as ever bearing and day neutral too if you find them at decent price. No matter which variety you grow, if you want to keep these plants producing for longer, pinch off the first flowers you see. This will allow the plant to establish its root system better. Of course, for June bearing varieties this would mean you would miss the strawberries the first year you plant them. You can also allow it to fruit, but then the plants may or may not survive till next year. What happens once the flowers show up? With proper pollination, soon you will see the flower shedding its petals and giving way to a green small strawberry. Planting pollinator friendly flowers such as alyssum, cosmos, marigold, etc. near strawberries will invite many pollinators. Over a period of next month or so, and depending upon how much sun it gets, the berries will grow larger in size. Once it has reached its optimum size, it will turn to pale green and then start turning red. 
It is best to net the berries if you can or hide them under leaves because birds would love to peck them. Once the berry is completely red, give it a day or two to develop flavor and become sweet. There will be a nice aroma in air around the berries as it begins to ripen and the berry will have slight kiff when you gently press it. This is a good time to pick it or you can wait one more day for it to get more sweet but it is hard to beat birds and slugs at this point. Each plant may produce 4 to 5 berries and this is a real number. I don't want to raise your expectation of getting lots of berries from one plant. So what is the trick to get a lot of strawberries for harvest? It is a simple two step hack. First, grow both varieties, the June bearing and the ever bearing and throw in the day neutral as well if you can. Second, grow as many plants as you can. For example, for limited space use vertical towers like this one. Plant half of it with June berries and other half with ever bearing. This planter works well for strawberries. I will link it in description. If temperature drops below 20 degree Fahrenheit in your area during winter, just bring this planter in. If you have larger space, dedicate one bed to June bearing and another to ever bearing. Once the plants are done producing berries, towards fall you will notice these runners, which are baby strawberry plants. You can pinch these off to allow the mother plant to rest. Or you can keep one of two of these. Just point them in the right direction and bury the lower portion of the runners to help them take root. This way you can grow your patch without having to buy more strawberry plants. Each berry plant produces well for about three years. So it is good to replace them in three years by planting new runners or new bare roots. Next year in spring, feed the bed with an all-purpose organic fertilizer. For strawberries planted in containers, you can revive the potting mix by using this method that I covered in the video linked here. Check it out next. I would truly appreciate if you can support this channel by liking this video, sharing it, commenting on it and subscribing. Also show your support by spending just a dollar and 49 cents on this garden planner that I have designed. You can use it digitally or print it out. Thank you so much for your support and for listening to me.